This portion of NTV's Grow is sponsored by Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Acres has what you need to get the job done. Well, if you've been following along, we're taking part in the UNL Taps Contest, and I've got a guy with me who's done this a few times. We thought we might pick on him. Chris Anderson's joining us from Fontenelle, part of the Bayer family. You're a technical agronomist, is that right? A bit with uh, Fontenelle and Bayer? You bet. Um, been doing that for, I don't know, 15 years. Yeah. Now, a while. A while. So, yep. so seed selection, we got to decide what we're going to put in the ground. I've got a catalog full of hybrids here, and... I don't know. What what what, ought to, what what do I need to be looking at as we're making a, a choice here? You know, it, TAPS does a great job of, of reaching out to the brands that are, right. you know, taking place out there in the North Platte area because that's one thing, probably the first thing that we got to think about is what's going to work in North Platte. Not necessarily what's going to sure. work on your own farm, but what's going to work good at North Platte. And particularly at North Platte, it's an irrigated farm right south of the river there. There is some great options. And, you know, first you've got to think is, is – You've got to put on your your lottery cap right out the gate, right? Because they, <laughs> you know, they take a lot of the the early decision making pieces out of it in the fact that they're going to pick the right day to plant and the right sure. soil conditions, the right moisture, right. and have that going for you. So then, you know, you after that have to pick up the piece of what kind of a, what's this product going to act like and react to the way I want to play with this rest of this competition because there's a lot of pieces go into this right and how that product is going to react to the things that you wish to do through the rest of it let's let's look at pioneer so what's a what's a what's a number on here that's that's done well in this contest then? so one that has had a historical track record and done really good is 1366 okay um it's one that Probably it's going to take a little bit more inputs. The guys, you know, that are really making that, you know, excel in this program are giving it on the upper end of, you know, added inputs through the year. Do I want to be that team that throws oh, everything at it, goes full fertility and full water? And correct. Or do you want to be the one that says, I'm going to use this to see really how good a corn we can raise with a little bit less of those inputs and get the maximum out of those then you got to start thinking traits with these and yeah you know, well, well talk to me about that i mean these days there's a lot of different options that way aren't there there is i mean there's as many different traits as there is corn companies right. anymore and right uh, but uh the the nice thing about it the contest is always held on rotated ground so we don't have to worry about the rootworm component so much sure but we do need to worry about other aspects that always happen out there and being in the valley where it's at western bean cutworms a problem every year yeah um so having a trait to defend against that i guess that was one you know tool i always kept in my toolbox is if it's offered in the bag let's use it and the one i had, I had looked at was um was it this one here yep 11 dt 591 there you so go that one you know that one as well as two others that are in the fontanelle products you could choose from all hold the tricepta trait which picks up western bean cutworm no different than 1366 traded you know for theirs right um it, that's a, a great tool to have in your arsenal if that day comes because if that's you know 10 or 15 bushels off the top that may be the difference of you winning and not winning right so. well and then obviously what, what we're doing now depends uh, affects you know our chemical decisions and, and everything a lot of a lot of hinges on what we're talking about right here doesn't it exactly and you know we also talked about how we're going to water it and how we're going to fertilize exactly it. um and my and since the goal of taps they're trying to trying to help guys do more with less uh, you know I, my my bias i guess in doing this contest is trying to do it with a little bit less input see see if we can push the envelope a little bit that way um so like this 11 d t 591 do you think that's one we could you know, maybe get by with a little less on the fertility side it, it is one that you know do you totally starve it no but can it get by with less you bet can it get by with a little less water you bet um it, it's one that will you know respond to that and still save probably your maximum return of bushels after the fact sure. of that. Um, and, you know, it's got a definite proven track record there at North Platte and, you know, local fields out there. So it's a local favorite that you yeah. also got going that you know works well out there for you. NTV's Grow promises to bring you all the news and trends surrounding agriculture in Nebraska.